It's Yvonne and welcome to having you on. Well, it's theme Thursday and Amy has picked for us this week yellow and green. And I just couldn't resist sharing Sweet Michael with you. He is sound asleep and he has found his thumb. <laughs> and he is in an ever so cuddly, softer sleeper with a sweet little teddy bear on the front. Look at that. And it's a three-dimensional little teddy bear. Its little paws are hanging out over here. And his little ears too. So, so sweet. And he even has little bear feet. I mean, literally, <laughs> little bear feet. <laughs> a print of a little bear paw on the bottom of his foot. There we go, so cute. But you know what? I bet you're wondering, what are those answers to that tag that Mia Stalls and Fun came up with? You remember? Do you remember this? Two truths and one lie. And I was telling you three statements and I asked you to guess which two were the truth and which one was a lie. <laughs> Do you know? Did you guess right? Would you like to know? Well, come along with me. I'm going to change your baby and answer the questions at the same time. Won't that be fun? Ta -da! I bet you weren't expecting to see little Van Nook. You haven't seen him in a little bit. He's my northern boy. You know, the one all the way up north, <laughs> out in the wilderness, enjoying and exploring. <laughs> my little naturalist out there. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to go ahead and change him in a sweet romper from his Aunt Krista. It's Dolly Babe. I'll provide her link down below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to her. She's so sweet. And I met her at the Rose Doll Show, the last one. And I thought it'd be excellent idea to dress <laughs> little Nanook in this outfit that she sent. It's a little romper. Wait till you see it. I'm going to show it to you. Yeah, and also going to answer the questions. That's right. <laughs> do you remember what the questions were? I hope you do. <laughs> Are you going to help me? Do you remember what they were? I'll help you out. Number one was, am I fluent in another language? Number two, I cycled the British Isles on my bicycle. And number three, I've been on television. Okay, I'm going to start with number three. <laughs> if you guessed number three, You'll be surprised because I have been on television. I have, and I did a little bit of modeling too. So yes, I've been on television. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't know that. So I like, I like these tags where we get to know each other a little bit. But yeah, his arm is giving me some trouble. I just want to be gentle with him. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. There we go. So cute, he's going to disappear for just a second. Here we go, before I move on, all right? All right, all right, so if, <laughs> if number three was true, what's left? Hmm, number one and number two, which one? Now, number two was, I cycled the British Isles on my bicycle. Hmm, is that a truth or a little fib? It's the truth. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. And here is the sweet romper I'm going to dress him in. See, it has little grizzly bears all over it. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they're up north in Alaska way. <laughs> so I thought it would be perfect for him. And the material is amazing. And it'll be so sweet on him. And so let me answer. How did I do that? What did I do? Why did I cycle the British Isles? Who can do that? <laughs> Well, it took lots of training. I actually had a bicycle, of course, and I took my packs, you know, the side packs, you probably see cyclists have the side packs on the back wheel, and I would put weights in there, and I would train myself. I would train and train and train myself for weeks before I went on this adventure. And let me tell you, Scotland has the highest hills ever. i put this on it. I'm going <laughs> to tell you about Oh my goodness, what an adventure it was. But there is no other way to see the world but on a bicycle, really. You can hear the birds, you can feel the breeze, and you can stop and hear a little brook, really. And you can stop and wait for the sheep to cross the road, and even some of them are sprayed pink. <laughs> it's true, it's true, and there was a... Um, 
I don't know, <laughs> a farmer. Are they called farmers who take care of the sheep? And he was moving them along with his bicycle. So I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, I did, I did, I did. And at some points, the hills were so high that I wasn't going anywhere on my bike. <laughs> Let me tell you, um, people would walk by faster than I was going up these hills. They were steep hills, they really were. And I got to see, oh my goodness, amazing things. Maybe things I wasn't supposed to see. <laughs> I did get to see some amazing things. I got to go to Loch Ness, which you've heard. I'm not talking about the monster, I'm talking about the lake. I And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, it's been a while since I've been there. I think it is, is it 23 miles long and a mile wide? I'm not sure, I'm just trying to guess from memory, but I can certainly see why they think that there is a monster in there because the hills are just right, slope, and there's these breezes that go through and make the water ripple just right. And it does look very much like there's a monster in there. I'm sorry, <laughs> if there, there might really be a monster in there. I didn't want to spoil it for anyone, but um, <laughs> yeah. So I did actually get to see Loch Ness and I got to kiss the Blarney Stone. I did. I did. I get to <laughs> kiss the Blarney Stone. But everybody else has kissed the Blarney Stone. I wasn't so sure. And they have you hang upside down for some reason to kiss the Blarney Stone. I don't quite know why. <laughs> but it's supposed to bring you good luck. So I gave it a shot. <laughs> so why not? Yeah. And um, what happened was, is I flew from New York to Ireland. And I cycled around Ireland, which is beautiful. Oh my goodness, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then took a ferry across and I went to the Isle of Man. And then from there I went over to, um, trying to remember. It was definitely, I think it was definitely uh, Scotland from there. We went to Scotland and then I went to, um, England and Wales. Oh, let me tell you about Wales. Wales. Ah, uh, I and um, some of the really small towns I got to go into. I mean, there was nothing there but one small little store. That's how small these towns were. Very, very small. And I got to hear the local dialect and I got to hear Gaelic spoken. And it was amazing. It really was amazing. So <laughs> that leaves you with number one, I am fluent in another language. Hmm, am I? Well, <laughs> you know that I love to impersonate. So I uh, listen to people speak, and I can speak a few words here and there of different languages, but no, I'm not fluent in another language. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at him, what a cutie pie. It fits him perfectly. Oh, thank you, Krista. Oh, it's beautiful on him. Look at him. He looks so sweet. Do you see him? So cute. It's so perfect for my little northern boy. <laughs> He's so sweet. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to thank you for stopping by. I'm Yvonne, and thank you for watching, having you on. Take care, everyone. Please subscribe for more, because guess what's coming up? You don't know unless you subscribe. The Reborn Feel Good Channel. Take care.